Hey, what's going on, guys? Patriot Prime here once again with Dylan's Toy Box. Dylan's Toy Box. And we are here today with a surprise unboxing. You want to show them the box? Yeah. It is, it's a big one. This box comes to us from our good friend Mike, also known as Fire Talks. And for those of you in the chat, I see Fire Talks is in the chat now. He yeah. is only four subscribers away from 100 subs. So if you're not subscribed to Fire Talks, hit him up. He does some great 3D printed accessories and some other fun stuff for your Transformer figures. And same I, thing for us. Same thing for us. That's right. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And the rest of it we do at the end. Remember? I know. Okay. Now, Dylan, before we get started, why don't you tell these guys a little bit about your channel? What do you like to review? They know, they know who I am. Well, I review like uh, Funko Pops, anything like that, and uh, Transformers. I used to do Transformers. Hot chips. Hot chips, yeah, I eat hot chips, and a bunch of things like that. All right. Well, Devoid of Logic just hopped in, and he says, "Hello, Dylan." Hi. We got Memo two two four. He just says, "Hey, everyone," and hi, Dylan. Hey. We got Lone Dragon, Trans Air in 38, Fire Talks. Who else we have? That's it. We got how many people? Seven people watching right now. We'll shoot the bull for a bit, let some people get in here, and then we will get into opening up this box. He has been looking forward to this all day. That's how I got him to eat his dinner. You eat your dinner, we can open this box up, right? We didn't have dinner yet. No, we did. What'd you call that restaurant we went to? Takeaway Pig is what we did. But I don't remember you saying that. Mm -hmm. I really don't. Okay. I don't remember him saying that. There's Cato. Mr. Cato's in here. He says, howdy, folks. Hi. Hi. Clinkle says it's midnight where he's at. And where are you at? Somewhere where it's midnight. He, uh, might, he might be from another country watching us right now. He is staying up late to watch you. It's, it's like... Actually, noon right here. It's seven o'clock. There's a yeah, big seven. difference between noon and seven o'clock. Okay, it's seven o'clock. All right. Seven oh, he's seven he's from the UK, so he's across the Atlantic Ocean. Gee whiz. I know. I've been there before. We're all the way in Wandsworth. Yep. In what state? West Virginia. In what county? Uh, America. And that's what country? Oh gosh. We've been going over this. He's he's learning. Rico Red Star is in the house. He is from. Pennsylvania. He's right above us. Matt M has just shown up. Fire Talks, I see you're at 97 subscribers now. Three to go. Well, Memo's leaving. Memo, we'll see you later. Bye. Once again, enjoyed talking to you the other night. Why is Memo leaving? He's got stuff to do. This is seven o'clock. Not everybody has time to hang out with us. Well, we got 15 people in the chat. I guess uh, you ready to open this box up? What do you think I'm going to say? No. Yeah. All right. Let's do this. There's Redstone Convoy, Alex Johnson, Inu Tabi. Everybody's hopping in. I thought Redstone was only in Minecraft. Well, no. There he is right there. He says hi. Oh. Right there, right there. That's him. Hi. Kato says hi. Hi. All right. So let's figure out how to do this. Where I've got my camera set up now, it's kind of hard to... There goes that Skelegod figure falling over. If you saw my review on the guy, his ankles suck. I've got, uh, they are uh, floor polished. I'm just waiting on them to dry. Hmm? Show, show the front. The, yeah. Show okay, the front. I'll, I'll show okay. Well, I just did a review. They saw the front. Yeah. This is Skella God from the new uh, He Man show. You know, I'm not going to spoil it for you. Okay. So I'm not going to say anything about the show. Well, nobody's seen the show. I know. We're, just, we're gonna, just assuming. I'm not going what's, to tell him. I've taught him well. You don't spoil stuff. All right, so let's. Uh, oh, Alec Ryan Moriarty says good evening from Fort Campbell. That's a military base. Sweet, cool. huh? Spent a lot of my life there. Yeah. All right. Old Fire Talk said this thing is packed. I've already opened the sides up so I can do this real quick. So we're just going to cut along the top here and let's get cracking. Now, you maintain some. Uh, Yay, bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. All right. Maintain some discipline. That's what I want to do. Don't be just grabbing for stuff. Okay. Put the bubble wrap down. We'll fool with that later. 
All right, first things first. I yes. knew I knew this was coming. Thanks, Mike. He got me the Kingdom Legend size, or I guess their core class. Get out of the box. Soundwave figure. So thank you so much, Mike. My area does not carry these core class figures. It does not carry Legends figures. So Mike was kind enough to find this guy for me. Mike, thank you. Yes, Dylan found his favorite thing in the box. Bubble wrap. Yeah. Hey, Redstone does uh, Minecraft videos. He does? He does. Oh, he just elbowed me in. I, ne I, need, to, I need to look you up. I watch those all the time on my Switch. Minecraft videos. There's a guy named Tiger. I watch I watched every, every day. I mean every day. Every second. Every second, yeah. Every day, actually. All right. Let's see what's next. All right, we got a box. All right, here we have. Oh, this is a. Is that mine? That is a box of all kinds of figures. Is this mine? Well, we'll see. Oh, these are. Uh, Mike has hooked me up with a bunch of looks like Energon figures, Armada figures. We will we will decide. So. I remember uh, I did the Cybertron Optimus Prime last month, and so many people were saying, you need to do more figures from that line. Well, it looks like it's going to happen. I, these must be Cybertron figures because I see the little cyber keys in there. Are yes. Those no. Uh, we, we, will go through, we will go through everything. You okay. don't even mess with Transformers anymore. You know what? I think this is my box, and all these are well, Let's see what's in this next. we got another giant baggie. Is that yours? This is mine. Yeah. Oh, cool. That's uh, the Cybertron Wheeljack. He wasn't Wheeljack. Uh, downshift. Oh, I've got two versions of it. You got the thing on edge. Dude, thank you so much. I don't have any of these anymore. They were victims of the great Transformer Purge of 2011. Whoa, whoa. All right. I Beamer says his Walmart has Deluxes and Voyagers, and that's it. Same as mine, buddy. And I Beamer, I'm so excited. I have a big bad toy store package waiting on me at work tomorrow. All right, what's this? Going for some more goodies. Oh, that's that giant. Uh, I know that's not mine. Oh, what is this? This one's wrapped up really good. We'll take this out of the baggie for you. This is, I don't remember his name. You guys will have to help me out in the chat. Big old ballistic missile carrier. I love the looks of that vehicle. I never had this figure. Is this one red alert? Lights and sounds still work. Oh, it is red alert. This is cool. It looks like double dealer. That is awesome. Thanks, Mike. There's going to be so many Cybertron reviews coming up. He's going to spend the rest of the video popping pup bubbles. No. That's what I thought. All right, and we're digging, we're digging. Okay, here's a final box right here. This, this is, is the mine. Fire Talks goodie box. I can tell just it's from mine. the sounds. I, mean, I know it's mine. All right, let's see. Let's is get... this all mine? Now these, let me make sure I open this. I'm opening it upside down. It will spill everything. So, getting in here. Oh, my goodness. That's yours. That's what he made you. And it's already painted. How cool is that? Oh, my God. Here, let's get it out of the box. Yeah, no, no, I need to <laughs> hey. Hold on, hold on. That's, that's in there. Good. How'd you get it in there without tearing it? Or tearing the baggie. He made Dylan a placard. Check that out. Look at this. That is so cool. I swear to God, this thing is not stupid. You swear to what? What'd you say? Nothing. <laughs> I love this. How awesome is that? What do you tell Mike? Thank you. Mike, you, you wanted to see the reaction, buddy. You got it. For those of you who don't know, Mike is in the green room right now watching. When we're done opening up everything, we're going to talk to him. But yeah, that is awesome. Look at this. 3D. You better start doing you some reviews now, man. We'll put that up. We'll get a little thing to hang that up so you can place it on the desk beside you. Yeah. Do you like it? Uh -huh. What do you tell Mike? Thank you. 
That is awesome. Exactly. Done in the style of Ben 10. That was Dylan's logo that he wanted. It was actually designed for him by Rudy Zizzo, another YouTuber from across the pond, designed that for Dylan. And he, he was a huge Ben 10 fan at the time. Of course, he's off and on what he likes to do. All right, let's see what else is in here. Here's some, I can't wait to put this together. Fire Talks made me another V pistol. It looks like I'm going to have to put this one together. This is all done up in black. Oh. <laughs> and it, look, it's, this one's my size. So we've got, here it is. Let me see. For those of you who don't know, I absolutely love the show. The, oh, there's another one you can paint. Look here. You can paint that one. Yeah. It's a, it's a plain one. So he and his mommy, his mommy loves to paint. So you could do that one in your own collars. Yep. That is so cool. Let me see. We got how many parts of this V? All kinds of parts of this V pistol. Here is, I think, this is the Dino Rider set for... Um, what is the white Triceratops, the fossilizer? I'm terrible with the names of these new ones. But this is the Dino Rider set, I believe, for him. What is his name? Paleotrex is the other one. Rack tonight. Rack tonight. Here we have a... <laughs> Fire Talks made these for me. This is the uh, gas, short, gas shortage set. You've got gas cans and gas drums for when your Autobots are hoarding gas. <laughs> oh, this set right here. I believe... Ooh, Fire Talks has his uh, cards ready for TFCon. I believe this is the Shattered Glass Ratchet set. So Ratchet can brutalize his victims. There's another stand for the V pistol. A Shattered Glass Megatron upgrade set for your Siege Megatron, but he won't be Shattered Glass Megatron. He's just going to be regular Megatron with a flight mode now. So... Sweet. Uh, I think Hasbro Pulse announced this, and within an hour, Firetox had them designed. Oops. Okay, here's more pieces to the V Blaster. There's the clear tubes. That's going to be fun to put together. We've got... Are you being sarcastic? No, I'm not being sarcastic. I love putting models together. All right, this this is... I, I love this. He has designed little V Blasters for the Transformers. How cool is that? I love it. I've got three of them here. I wish I had a lizard transformer. And we have, oh, Fire Talk stickers. You can put one of those on your door. Yep. And there's another handle for the V-Blaster and a magnet. Dude, this is awesome. I love the pistol. Well, Without further ado, let's go ahead and get uh, Fire Talks in the stream. And there he is. Hi. Hey. Dude, thank you so much for all this. No problem, man. If that, uh, the bag with the ratchet stuff, uh, I combined a few sets in there. So the dad bod set's in there. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> if I wasn't online, I would give you this golden coin, but... I guess I'm online, so I can't give you it. No, it's okay. I know. But th this is like perfect. These pistol grips is like perfect. So there's there's two complete guns in there. Okay. Um, I'm trying to find the link of the guy who designed it. I did not design that gun, nor did I sell you that gun. Just want to make that clear to everyone because I would never do that. But um, I, I can't find the design. It almost looks like the guy took it down. Um, but if I can find it, I'll give you the link so you can throw it in there if anybody wants to print them. They printed multiple pieces. You, you have two because I printed one set, and then I got up in the morning after I had it all printed at once, and it didn't look right. But I didn't want to waste it, so I printed it slower and made it look nicer so you'd have a decent one. But then you could just give Dylan the other one. Would you like to have a V-Blaster? Yeah. <laughs> like right there? Can you hand me that right there? 
See the blaster on the display? Can you hear me that? Because it looks like, because this one I have, this is actually cast from the props of the TV show. Right. And it looks like this has been cast the same way. It, it is. I know it's different for a fact because the stand I included in the box, the, the uh -huh. new stand, should be, I, I hope I sent you the right one, it should be slightly bigger because, um, right, so you have another one of those stands. Okay. There's a loose magnet because I wasn't sure which pole I had the magnets in. So you've got to set your own magnet if you want to put the V on the other one or the other logos on the other one. Yeah, I saw, saw the magnet in there. But yeah, this is one. And of course, you can see the difference in the grip. I can't really get a hold yeah. of this one. But this was actually a prop replica or cast from a prop replica of the show. So, man. As far as I could tell, the printed one should be a little bigger. In yeah, I can, I can tell already. Yeah. You and that will go here. Oh, yeah, that's gonna fit a lot better. That is sweet, man. Thank you so much. No problem. And I know so, you love your B stuff. Oh, I know. They need to hurry up and redo that show. It's been rumors of a uh, trilogy movies coming out. Let me quit with the pop bubbles. Are you done or you still want to hang out? All right, get over here on my lap. <laughs> yes. Visitor Commander Steven, that's the individual who gave me the prop blaster. And yes, there's a rifle version. I think the rifle version has the extended barrel and the stock. So I have the files for the rifle version. Okay. But I didn't have the same color black left, and it would have looked funky. I started to print it, but when you put them together, it would have looked a little off, unless you wanted to paint everything. Um, so technically, the same guy did both designs, because the file names for the pistol are actually rifle handle. Huh. But the rifle parts almost just slide onto the pistol, and then you can pull them back off. There's a couple different. There's a couple parts that are different, but like the barrel slides onto the existing barrel, which is kind of cool. Neat. And I can't wait to you know we'll definitely get some reviews on these. The Dino Rider set, and let's see, we've got Dad Bod Prime in here. Yeah, yeah you, got, you got to read what it says on the box. I see it. I got the beer mug and the beer. And for those of you that don't know, the dad bod comes from Earthrise Ultra Magnus without the armor. What are you looking for? Yours? Yeah, my stuff. I'm looking for my stuff. I need this stuff. All right, hold on. Hold on. So there you go. You want to go run down and show mommy? Yeah. All right. Oh, he was thrilled to death. No, I'm All glad right. you like that. What's that? I'm glad he liked that. Uh, that was oh, nice. I am too. Because I've been kind of worried because he's kind of sloughed off on his YouTube stuff because his life is all Minecraft now and it's driving me nuts. <laughs> yeah, I think they all, everyone goes through the, the Minecraft phase at some point, I think. Well, he it's like he's at a, a three-week window for everything. He was into Funko Pops for about three weeks. And that was fun. He'd get up in the morning, hey, Dad, let's go Funko Pop hunting. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we go hit all the stores. I mentioned to Kato last night. I like have one store that has Transformers. That's my Walmart. But it seems like every store in the area has Funko Pops. So we could always hit up GameStop, Walmart, Ollie's, uh, the local CVS. Always had something like that. Right. Yeah, Funkos are a lot easier to find. Let's see. Devoid of Logic. He was talking about V. The second season remake of V was good. It was all right. I think what killed that is they tried to, they eliminated the whole Nazism, Nazism of the first V. That's what made that one so scary. I mean, not only are you dealing with these alien invaders that are coming down and eating people, it's the whole Nazi thing behind it. If you remember, there were Holocaust survivors in that show, everything. And uh, they tried to go with the more modern take of, uh, secret cells of aliens you kind of like the taliban and yeah that's scary for now but still no matter what era you're from nazis are going to be scary as shit no matter what so i think yep. they should have stuck with the nazis and instead of being shapeshifters they needed to have the fake skin lone dragon asks why are those ugly pop things so popular because they're easily to col easy collectibles Yep. And they, they cover everything. I mean, they're not great at all. I didn't think I'd ever get any of them. And then they make the Transformer ones. Well, I got to have those. And then lo and behold, there's the V ones. So I got to get those. 
Yeah, we have the giant um, Optimus, and then the other day we happened to um, my order for the giant Godzilla came in, and the giant Godzilla Funko Pop is awesome. I was really surprised by those. I got Dylan. I don't have the giant ones, but I got him the Godzilla, the King Kong, and the Mecha Godzilla, and they don't really look like Funko Pops. They look like just yeah. deformed Godzilla figures. Right. They don't look like your normal big squared off head Funko Pops at all. Hey, we're talking about Godzilla and Funko Pops. Can you go get Godzilla, King Kong, and Mecha Godzilla so I can show the audience? Mm -hmm. Now, I think Godzilla and King Kong may still be in your box, but Mecha Godzilla is on your shelf. He's just sitting there walking all over these pop bubbles. Just pop, pop, crack. <laughs> Try letting him pop the big ones because they don't pop. Oh, I know. I'm debating on that. <laughs> Are you going to get him? I think it's cool that he actually comes with the tapes. Yeah. And I, I really liked that with the giant Optimus Prime because I pre-ordered him from Walmart and he was 30 bucks. Yeah. And then when then Walmart dropped him down to 17 online. And so when I went to my Walmart one day, they had like five of them in uh, on the shelf. And I got my little uh, screenshot and I went up to the girl at the front counter and said, hey, can I price match these? And I'll cancel my pre-order and buy it here. Well, we don't honor pre-order prices. I'm like, it's your store. Right. And then like two days later, I go and scan it and they're ringing up $9.70 okay, each. Okay. Yeah. I, thankfully... So when you started seeing those, my pre-order was still waiting because Walmart pre-orders take forever. And it was still listed for $30 in the pre-order. And then um, I had only seen one Walmart in a store here with all these Walmarts. I only saw it once. And it was normal price because I price checked it. And then thankfully at some point, the website updated and the price dropped to $16. And it stayed that way, and then they shipped it to me for sixteen. So at least I didn't have to pay the full thirty dollars for a. That's good. And you still get the free shipping with it. Yeah. Not well. So you kind of lucked out. All right. Do you have your own website, or do you use Facebook to sell your products? So I, er, Facebook or Instagram. If you message me on Instagram, it's the same as if you message me on Facebook. Um, I'm about as active on both. there's certain things I don't post on Instagram and there's certain things that I just throw up on Instagram. So really it's both. Um, and then there's also a Patreon. So if you join the Patreon for like a buck a month, you get 10% off of anything you order from me too, which depending on what you order could work. Yep. All right. Here's Dylan. Show Mecha Godzilla. This is a uh, King Kong Godzilla. And this is Mecha Godzilla. Oh, you got the two pack. Yeah, we got that. I pre-ordered that again from Barnes and Noble or Books a Million, and it took forever to get here. But that's a limited edition one. Right. And then I was just at GameStop one day, and they had Mecha Godzilla. But see, they don't even really look like pops. Yeah, they highly don't. detailed. I mean, they almost they almost look chibi. Yeah, that's it. That's that's what I was thinking of. But yeah. yeah, they look really cool. And that one actually can hurt you. He's got so many spikes on him. Yeah, it just. Stab me in the pinky. It I actually just hit. <laughs> I just I wish they would do one for Mothra because I I buy those for Benny. Uh, she's four and she loves the Godzilla movies, the new ones. She'll watch them back to back to back over and over again all day long. And her favorite character is Mothra, and she's constantly wanting Mothra stuff, but it's hard to get now. I'm surprised they don't. I mean, if they got this. Then maybe we'll do the other monster verse kick figures. I'd like uh, yeah. King Ghidorah was always one of my favorites growing up. Yeah. You don't have to uh, King it. Kong is my favorite too. I bet you really like that movie then, because he's in that a lot. Yeah. Oh. You don't have to pick it up. I really do like King Kong, and I really like his axe. It reminds me of a, a diamond. Uh, Diamond axe from uh, Minecraft. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it is. Hey, Redstone Convoy says, Watch out, Dylan. You might get a shout out at a Minecraft video. A shout out's when, he, if he does a video on Minecraft, he'll say, Hey, this is Redstone Convoy, and I want to give my buddy Dylan's toy box a big shout out on my YouTube channel. Because he has a new uh, Minecraft video. That's what he says. Isn't that awesome? Well, I want you to say Redstone, Redstone. Minecraft, Redstone Minecraft videos on my Switch, and I'm going to watch every one of them. Okay. 
I mean, I'm not going to get off one. I'm not going to hit B and get off of it. Okay. Not. That's all he does. He, he's got his Switch, and that's all I hear in the background. It's Minecraft videos, or he's playing Minecraft. Yeah. I just love... You don't have to pick it up. I just <laughs> love Tiger. I just love that guy. That our guy is awesome. He good. He's hilarious. The Pit of Judgment came in. I had that thing pre-ordered twice. I ended up canceling both times because... I want the whole set for one figure. Redstone, call. we'll search you up. What's wrong now? Mitch. Yeah. Let's see if anybody else has anything to ask or add. I'm not going to keep everybody on here too long because Dylan has summer school. He's in his neat summer school program. I think it's going through August, and each week's a different theme. They had. Yeah, right now we're in West Virginia week. Last week was West Virginia week. This I lady, thought it was this time. You do not have to pick up the microphone. Scrolling through messages to see if I missed anything. Um, website. Yeah, there's the Facebook and the Instagram. Message right here. Stand right here. I got the Skylink's neck pieces from Fire Talks, and they're great. I'm glad you like that. Yeah, that's, that's one of my that's favorite that's things, oddly enough. It was super simple to design, but it changes. When I look at like my Skylink's, it, it changes everything looking at it. Oh, I know. It gives you such a G1 look, yet still maintaining the modern feel. Yeah. Well, let's see. I'm going to leave the 3D printed goodies. They'll be getting reviews of those soon. Y'all want to see the Dino Rider set first? I'm excited for this one. <laughs> All right. So let's go through some of the goodies you got me as far as the Cybertron line. And you said this guy's electronic? Pull the missile off. Pull the missile off. Okay, that's cool. So yeah, I and, never had this one. And if you put it back on and you put a cyber planet key in the back, it opens. Now the original missile is around here somewhere, but I've been searching for it for like a year and a half. There's a little okay. tiny missile that goes in the tip of that missile. But if you put awesome. one of the cyber planet keys in the back, that missile pops open and there's lights and sounds. Okay. Well, if anybody in the chat happens to have a missile for this guy, hit me up. But other than that, he's complete. Even his weapons, which um, are weird. I only came across them, just happened to. They're, like, embedded in his legs. Okay. So when you transform it, part of the weapon is there, but there's, like, a way to pop the parts out of his legs to swap out the tip of the weapon. And I didn't okay. even know that until I was messing with it one day. Yes. Nice. <laughs> okay, so let's get into this big goodie bag. Now, I... This one has me intrigued. I love the looks of this vehicle. I had the green one. Is this the same character? Is this, can pop these. Is this if I remember one? right, it is the same character name, but I think one of them was Cyberburst and one of them was Energon, or one of them was Energon and one of them was Cybertron. If you like he got a paint job upgrade. You know, this I might be like, wrong. This one looks like the G. Bye, guys. He's out of here. This one looks like the uh, G1 MicroMaster Big Daddy. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'm not. Okay. And of course, there we got Big, Big, not Big Daddy. Downshift, right? That's his name? Yes. Downshift? Yeah. Here we have a loose missile flopping around. You know, I have a random loose red missile in my weapons box. That'd be just be awesome if that happens to be his. But like I said, I've never so, had that figure. So here I'm we pretty got sure that. Oh yeah, you're gonna like that one. So that is cannonball, right? Yes, which is just the the better repainted version of a different red alert. All the all the mechanisms work. If you stick the cyber planet key in there, the, the, the cannons pop out. They're a little fun, fun, hard to get back in, but they pop out. The transformation's really neat the way the legs work. I think you'll like that one. Nice. Okay. I'm going to have all this stuff to review because apparently none of my kingdom stuff is going to ship until September. <laughs> Mine all said September, but it all showed up in the last three days. Wing fingers upstairs. Um, I got Galvatron wasn't supposed to be here until September. I got him. Uh, of course, you got all yours from Walmart, right? I got all mine from Amazon. I put Amazon. I do them on Amazon because I'm not in that big of a rush. I know they haven't been releasing things early the last couple of waves. So I didn't really mind the rush. And every time they go on sale, it lowers my um, pre-order price. Yeah. 
I usually get everything from Amazon, but this time I had, I told you, $150 worth of credit yeah. on Entertainment Earth, and that's where I ordered mine from. I got the whole wave for like 30 bucks. I um, ordered Rodimus and um, the Ark from Entertainment Earth. And if you if you pre-ordered the Ark from Entertainment Earth, it comes with enamel pins. Yes, that's why I got, no, I didn't get that one. I haven't pre-ordered pre -ordered the Ark yet. Yeah, I pre well, I, I technically pre ordered two of them. <laughs> All right, that, that guy's blur, right? Didn't he have a version of blur? Yes, yes. And then I remember this one, uh, Steam Hammer. I think he's part of the Constructicons. I think. I'm trying to remember if that one's Steam Hammer or Grimlock. Because there is a Cyberverse Grimlock that is a green construction vehicle. I remember. I remember the R RID one, and there is, I think, Jet Jetfire or Jet Storm. This little guy. I think that one is Jetfire. Okay. I have like four of those in different colors. Some of them have like the Sector Seven logos on them because they just keep reusing that mold. Let's say that's Scatter Shot. I remember that one. Yep. We got Planet Keys and ah oh, Mini Cons. That one looks like an X-Men thing. Yeah, that one's weird. Two little mini cons, or three. So, that's leader one from uh, Armada Megatron. So I I got a lot of that stuff in totes that I would go and buy for people when I was just kind of like, I didn't mind if people had broken stuff because I would you get enough broken stuff, you can make a whole one. Oh, but yeah. I've never actually seen the Armada Megatron that that went with. And when I found that in a box, I freaked out and started digging through the box and it wasn't there. Oh, it sucks. And of course, I got all the keys. So that's awesome. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be busy. There's more keys over here. I am going to be busy. I got some really cool stuff to review. Thank you so much. Absolutely, man. Like I said, I, I had a couple of these, and this, this was kind of during the time when you know I was just getting into collecting, and then I don't know. I just had that, that purge. <laughs> I'm still trying to look it up to see if that one's Grimlock or not because it's <laughs> actually bothering me that I can't remember. No, Grimlock is the um, the excavator. So that one, yeah. So that one's Steam Hammer. Okay. Yeah, you can see the little cyber key thing or whatnot. Not cyber key. What the spark holder? Well, he's also a power core combiner, but I don't. I don't have any of the limbs. All right. All right. Let's I see think that one. Is. And then in the baggie with the um, Shattered Gra Glass Ratchet set should be the Dad Bod set, which would have the the Bottle of Ultra, the Beer Stein, and a cable remote. <laughs> there it is. I love that. A remote, a Beer Stein, and a bottle of beer. That's awesome. And... Now this is this is ratchet. I, I love this. Ratchet's back. Do dead. Arm. I can't think yeah. of what it's called. So someone has 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 been waiting very patiently for me to finish that one and price it out. Um, and they had requested it a while ago. And so he'll be very happy when I when I drop that one with a with a price and stuff. My problem is right now is because I had uh, that printer crash and that printer catch fire. I'm a little behind. Yeah, you told me about that. That sucks. Well, I am just uh, so lone. Just so everybody knows, the V guns will go up the in the next couple of days. The little ones. I haven't. I just never released those yet. The ratchet set. The files aren't up yet, but those will be out. The dad bod set will go up. Um, I'm debating on adding a piece to the dad bot set from a oh, look here. Speaking of adding your piece, <laughs> he designed the couch already. <laughs> there's two of them. There, there's the low back white one. And if anybody else gets the joke, I'm not putting that picture on Instagram. And then there's a high back black one, which is another joke I'm not putting on Instagram. Yes, but I've seen it. I know it's cool. <laughs> All right. So here is Cup holding the V-Blaster. Just to give you an idea. 
Raz, the, the reason my printer caught fire was my fault. They don't do that normally. And it didn't quite catch fire so much as it started blowing smoke out of the bottom because I screwed something up. That was my fault, but I fixed it. I love the looks of that. Are I debated on making it so that it, you could like twist it. And then when you twisted it back, once you put it on his hand, the bottom bar was there. But it's so small, it wouldn't have been strong enough. It would have snapped off. So those don't print standing up like I normally do because that that little thin piece, the little that little piece would be too fragile. So it, it prints like just like you're holding it. That's neat. That, and it's very, very detailed. Let me get the camera here. So that looks just like what I got right here. Hold on. Of course, I've got my original, the only V figure they ever made. And here is the official original V blaster. And here we have fire toxins. Let me get centered here. So that's... that's Damn, I didn't even see that little gun before. I, I didn't do bad. You didn't do bad at all. Kudos. Yeah, they, they didn't really have an action figure of this guy. He's just kind of like a, a Barbie doll that you can peel his face off and there's a lizard underneath. Yeah. Or a Ken doll, excuse me. So, Jay Lee, since you asked, should I add the couches to the dad bod set when I release it? Do you, do you want a printable couch? Visitor Commander Steven says the V-Blaster looks good. He would nice. know. Yeah, he would. If you look at him real close, his profile pic is him in his uh, visitor suit, his visitor yeah. uniform. Yeah, I saw that. Jay Lee says he thinks it would be cool. All right, let me test print the black one, make sure it works, and I'll put them all up together. You can have the full dad bod experience and pick your own furniture. <laughs> That's awesome. But now, now I have to share the other picture on Instagram and probably get you in trouble. Do. Like I said, you don't have to. You just pop the picture up there. If people's perverted mind takes them where they go. Yeah, and it's not my fault. Yeah, I just realized I didn't put my hat on for my Patriot Prime thing. I just finished mowing. It's too damn hot anyway. How does Larkin's Lair compare to Fire Talks? Oh, there you go. Fortunately, everybody's friends. Yeah. <laughs> We do different kinds of work. Um, Larkin stuff is usually more complex, um, like that, like the upgrade for the green and um, Megatron that has the the ratchet built into it. That thing's amazing. Um, and that's something I definitely wouldn't have come up with. Fight, fight, fight! Oh no! <laughs> if you didn't notice, Larkin's the one who shared trying to get me to a hundred uh, subs tonight. Yeah. But I don't, cool, I don't think we have cool all, our little group is we're, we're all like this. I mean, we all help each other out and it, it's part of the fun of this community. And, you know, fire talks here is going to TF con as well. So we'll get to hang out with our weapons dealer. Let's see, <laughs> Let's see lazy eyebrow. Take a look at the dad bot set. He's seen it. I, I know for a fact he's seen it. Yeah. He's in our little chats too. We are the best community. I'll yes, Raziel, I'll I'll give it that. We got some great people in these groups. And who would have thunk it? Sitting there talking about toys on YouTube, you have met so many cool people. I know, I know. Cybertron, a Biggins magazine. Well, what was that one RC figure? She had Biggins. <laughs> the one M three reviewed, and it's got the squishy chest. Yeah, I'm like, what the hell? Um. I have an idea of something I'm going to do for the arc. It's not just a filler, though. But it will be. What I've seen, the filler pieces for that arc is going to be about the size of this. Yes. <laughs> this right here. And uh, it, that will, I, I will show you something I finished last, well, that I'm, I, I need to make one more tweak on, but then it will be finished. And a, as of this date will be the biggest gun I've ever put out. What I have planned for the arc will be bigger. Oh, yes. I know what that gun is. The Maul no. Deuce for Transformers. If you're on Kato's stream last night with me, we were discussing this wonderful piece of hardware. So now the Transformers can roadblock on some uh, nasty cons. So it, it prints in pieces. This moves to adjust. This isn't attached. It's just on the shaft. 
so anybody can hold it. Uh, it's about six and a half inches long. It prints in five pieces. It's already got ammo in it. Oh, that's sweet. I tried uh, to keep the rivets best I could. The top plate where you uh, where you open this up to check everything when you're assembling it. I watched like a dozen videos on tearing these down last night in order to build in order to make this as accurate as my version of accurate as it could be. <laughs> uh, it uh, definitely, and if, I know I've got them all over my desk because almost everything I make, it has to be blast effects compatible. Are the V pistols blast effect compatible? That's cool. Yes, they are. Well, let me grab my let me grab my handy bag of blast effects. You I can't have to go anywhere without your baggie of blast effects. Yeah, I have to no print it. But right? also, that's that's where the shells usually would eject, and then right there is a mounting point for a bipod that I have to print. I have to test print the bipod to see if it's going to work. But it, not bipod, a tri, literally a tripod, a stand, so that smaller figures can get behind this thing. Let's see if I have a blue blast effect because the visitor blasters were blue. I know I got one. We'll use this little squiggly blast effect. Yeah, there you go. There you go, visitor commander Steven. How's that look? <laughs> Love it. And let's see, JRC Designs in here. I want to give him a shout out. I recently got an envelope of accessories from him as well. And the ones I'm really looking forward to trying out was if you have the X-Men crossover jet, he's got some really cool X-Men claw or Wolverine claws for that set. Those, do, those look really, really good. Oh, they're sweet. I, uh, <laughs> I, I opened that guy out of the box transformed him once and if you saw my rhinox video doubled my frustration on that transforming that stupid thing of course once i, I, I transformed it once it sits up there i'm never going to touch it again yeah because i may just skip out the review on it and just go straight to the parts because i couldn't see me doing that on camera because my army language would come out big time i was surprised it didn't do it for the rhinox video you want to you, you want a, a nickel nickel bag? <laughs> I'm really surprised Hasbro didn't crank these out in little packages. Remember back in the yeah. 80s, back in the days, you could get all the little weapon sets and stuff like that? Well, I, I know somebody who I'm working with to possibly have some injected molded versions of some of my stuff Ooh. who is also designing blast effects that he can injection mold. Once he gets his set up at his house. In the ratchet set. Let me find that for you, see. So unfortunately though, I am gonna have to bounce. I gotta go grab the little one. She's yelling for me upstairs. But okay, well, I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that Dylan liked his little signs and that you're good with all the stuff that you got. Yes, thank you so much. Real quick, we'll just throw this out for C. C's a longtime subscriber and you know he's Oh yeah, yeah. He really helps out with my or enjoys my toy hacks videos. So let's just go over what we've got for ratchet here so first let me go grab my ratchet that's for shattered glass right shattered glass or if you wanted it could be for the uh, earthrise one but it's specifically because the siege one came with a back part and the new ones don't right so we got shattered glass ratchet here and i've already got a couple weapons on him from fire talks so our first thing we have is the arm right here and just like siege ratchet you've got the ports on both ends yep but is this one's a little bigger you've got a lot more range of motion so let's see we'll plug this in right here so you've got that going on and you don't have to assemble it that way when you print it. You could always take that center joint and not print the second white panel, and it's the exact same size as the um, the siege one. Okay, we've got these little. Are these wrist mounted mini guns? Let me see. Oh, those are for Warpath. Oh, 
Those oh, are the okay. Those are the parts that go to the new warpath to make him look more like the generations warpath. So he, the rocket pods. Right. Sweet. The hold on, he's right here. The these, but they go on him. Okay. They, they go on his shoulders, and you never have to take them off. He'll transform with them on. All right. This must be ratchets here maybe the ratchets should have a little spiky bit that looks like a looks like a not, diamond not bit like a drill but like a cone yeah that okay and then there's a um a weapon that has a five millimeter port right okay that plugs into that and it's a drill and then the other weapon is basically the thing that you use to put down a horse with <laughs> Okay, it's so here we go. We've got shattered glass ratchet with his drill attachment. Yeah, and then and then the other this other small handgun that he's got that's a bolt gun for putting down horses. But figured he'd put down anything else with it too. Oh yeah, too cool. That's awesome. And it may slightly look like a Nintendo power gun. Yeah, I can see that. And there's Larkin in the house right now. Hello, Joel. We were just hey, talking Larkin. about you, talking about our 3D printed goodness. And I saw where you got your Rhinox guns out and already sold out. Congratulations. Those are those are a nice upgrade. I was gonna do some gun. I was gonna redesign the weapon so that the um, the saw blades actually spun, but um, that toy's awful, and I'm never touching it again. <laughs> those those pinwheels of death. All right, well, I know you got to bounce and be with your kiddo, and I need to go bounce and be with my kiddo. Oh, there we are, the Javier Barden Cow Popper. Remember old No Country for Old Men? Hello, yep. friendo. Pow. <laughs> All right, well, guys, I appreciate you stopping by, uh, letting Dylan and I entertain you, opening up this massive box of goodies that Firetox was kind enough to send me. I'm going to put together these V-Blasters, check out these vintage figures and dude i appreciate it so much thank you absolutely from the bottom of my heart i really appreciate it absolutely and uh for you guys don't forget hit fire talks up with a sub i think he's three away from 100 i told him we was gonna try the game to hit 100 tonight and uh so if you can help him out everybody else in the chat thank you so much for stopping by and as usual don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. So you got to put the hat back on. Yeah. This is Patriot Prime signing out. Hoo-ah! Did the thumb right this time. Yeah. <laughs>